I went 10 straight days not being able to eat a single drop of food. If I even attempted, I would throw it up immediately. So I remember at the time, this was 12 years ago, my father had went to one of his co-workers who had been growing it for his mother who had cancer. He brought some home for me and after smoking one joint, I was able to eat a whole bunch of food. I was able to eat a couple pounds worth of food. Whereas if I had done that just a few hours earlier without the marijuana, I would have thrown it up immediately. So. Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in and welcome back to another Carnivore Q&A. Steven here with Team Euphoric and today's question comes from the Carnivore Diet for Beginners group on Facebook where a member had recently asked, any of you people in the group smoke weed? Well, yes, I do every single night before bed and I've had my medical prescription since 2010 ever since I was diagnosed with ulcerative colitis and I've experimented with a couple hundred different strains so I feel like I have somewhat of an area of expertise in this area and I want to go over who can potentially benefit from it and who won't benefit from it when using it on the Carnivore Diet. And before I even get into it, I would just like to discuss that there are are over 150 different terpene profiles and each of them are going to elicit a different response. So depending on what your goal is and what you are trying to achieve, the terpene profile is going to be what you would want to go based off of. Also, you want to look at the THC and CBD content. But one thing that you want to kind of avoid is get into this old outdated thinking of indica versus sativa. A lot of people, they think that indicas are going to relax you and they're going to calm you down and sativas are going to be more uplifting. But really, it's going to come down more to the terpene profile than the indica versus sativa. And depending on what exactly you want to achieve, that's going to dictate which one you would want to go. If you can see on the wall right behind me, I have six words printed on that wall and they are thoughts, breathing, sleep, hydration, nutrition, movement. And the reason I have those six words printed on the wall is because if you want to achieve optimal health, you need to make sure that those six foundation principles are going to be optimized. First, I'm going to cover thoughts. With regard to thoughts, if you are somebody who gets very, very anxious or if you have high levels of stress, then you may want to avoid a high THC strain and you would rather opt in for something like a low THC strain, something like a myrcene or panine. Myrcene or panine, those are two terpene profiles and those two terpenes specifically are going to be calming. So if you are very anxious or stressed out, having a calming terpene like something that is high in myrcene or panine can be beneficial for you. And with regard to thoughts, if you are looking to increase your creativity, then with regard to creativity, something like a terpinoline or something like a limonene may be beneficial for you because those are going to be more uplifting and they're going to be really good when it comes to bringing you more energy and also being a little bit more creative. Next, let's get into breathing. With regard to breathing, if you are somebody that loves doing meditation or if you are doing something like diaphragmatic breathing, then it can help to bring you down into a more parasympathetic state and calm you down, which can help with your meditative state. If you are going to be using it for meditation, once again, you would want to use one of the calming terpene profiles, something like a myrcene or panine. Next, I want to get into sleep. Me personally, this is the reason that I use it. And the reason I use it is because I work 80 to 90 hours per week. And when I get home, it's late at night and my mind is always racing. So I need something to calm myself down. And if you are somebody who is really, really having difficulty sleeping, then you would want to avoid some something like a terpeninoline or something like a limonene as that is going to elevate your energy levels and it's going to make it really, really difficult to sleep and your mind is just going to be racing. So if you are somebody who is using it for sleep, then ideally you would want to use something like a myrcene or a panine to help calm you down. And then what about hydration? Well, with regard to hydration, if you are somebody that smokes a lot of weed, this is going to dry your mouth out a lot. So you are going to need a little bit more water just to help with the cotton mouth. But in terms of hydration, there's nothing really that the weed will do or won't do in terms of improving your hydration status. Next, I want to get into nutrition. With regard to nutrition, when I was first diagnosed with ulcerative colitis back in 2010, this was a huge thing that I noticed. I went 10 straight days not being able to eat a single drop of food. If I even attempted, I would throw it up immediately. So I remember at the time, this was 12 years ago, my father had went to one of his co-workers who had been growing it for his mother who had cancer. He brought some home for me and after smoking one joint, I was able to eat a whole bunch of food. I was able to eat a couple pounds worth of food, where Whereas if I had done that just a few hours earlier without the marijuana, I would have thrown it up immediately. So if you are somebody that has severe nausea, or if you are somebody with a very, very low appetite, then this could help stimulate your appetite. And it could also be beneficial for either putting on weight or it just being able to get the food down without having to throw it up. And then lastly, I want to cover movement. With regard to movement, if you are somebody that has that, that likes to work out and you want to boost your energy levels a little bit before you start working out, then something like a terpinoline or a limonene will be beneficial because those ones are going to be more energizing. Me personally, I'm not a big fan of working out when I am high. I don't know why for me personally, it's just I, I can't focus properly and I don't feel like I get a really good workout in. Mind you, I don't really have too much experience. I've only in the last 12 years done it one time and the one time that I did work out when I was high, it was a terrible workout and I just could not focus properly. And then another thing with regard to movement is if you are somebody that has something like joint inflammation or if you are trying to improve your recovery, then you may also benefit from taking something like Mercine or Panine 
And specifically, you would want to do something like a high CBD strain because CBD, it's going to have very anti-inflammatory properties to it. So if you're somebody that has a little bit of pain, a little bit of joint inflammation, nerve inflammation, then something like a high CBD strain with myrcene or panine could be very, very beneficial for you. But that's just my thoughts. Go ahead. If you have any questions, ask your questions down in the comment section so I can help you guys out. And that's pretty much it for today's video. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to smash that like button so know to keep making these types of videos in the future. And if you're either new to the channel or haven't subscribed yet, be sure to subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of the new videos. That's it for today's video. Thanks for tuning in and I will see you again tomorrow.